Hey guys, I want to talk figs with you today, and I want to talk planting depth. And I know this is a very controversial topic. It's a topic that I am uh, in the middle of experimenting with because I believe in something so strongly here for a colder climate that when we're planting fig trees, guys, I believe we actually want to be planting them as high as we can. Uh, in fact, we should be trying to even raise the root ball above grade and that go that goes against conventional wisdom that goes against a lot of people's opinions and you know what um that's fine i'm okay with that um the reason i'm doing this is because a lot of people have just horrible success growing figs in the ground um there's one or two guys that have really good success doing it here in like you know zone seven even zone six and those guys have pretty much showed us the way but they haven't really told us a whole lot of information about it and people followed those people and then tried to replicate what they did and as a result they didn't do it all that well and they haven't had good success and then every spring when they realize that their trees have died back to the ground they complain and um Rather than complaining and being negative, because I know it can work, right? The proof is in the pudding. There's people that are doing this. And I've even seen, I've seen plenty of trees myself that are thriving rather than just surviving here in zone seven and six. You know, I've seen it with my own eyes. So rather than just complain, like I said, I'm gonna try to actively find the reason. One of the reasons that's most apparent to me is one having them in a nice microclimate we've talked about this to great lengths another one we've talked about is adding in these rocks and i've just added in much more rocks more sources of heat for the sun to reflect off of or for the heat to be absorbed in and released at nighttime any source of heat we can use obviously is going to be great but one thing that's overlooked is the planting depth and I think this is the biggest mistake of them all now if you want to be conservative and you want your tree to live maybe it's your only fig tree um, maybe it's a very valuable variety to you uh, plant it deep okay here in zone six or zone seven even some zone eights okay plant your trees deeper because the deeper you plant them um, the better the chance is that they will survive. Now, that's the conventional wisdom. But I am tending to disagree. And my experiment that I'm going to be doing this year, this winter, is going to sacrifice some plants for the good of, well, for the good of the hobby, I guess. This isn't necessarily a total science experiment. I'm not a scientist. I don't have many controls. I don't have many data points. But we've got here a variety that we planted in this raised bed that's a foot high off the ground. And compared to something else that I've been doing, which is right next to it, this is Hardy Chicago. This tree got through last winter with no problems and I planted the root ball of this tree four to six inches above grade and you can see there's kind of like a mound here that has formed it's tough to see but there is a mound and by mounding up the soil and raising that root ball these guys have access to a lot more heat during the summer during the spring they grow a lot more they perform a lot more they fruit a lot more overall more heat is a better tree here anyway so if i'm doing that with good success four to six inches above grade the next step up from that and this is the most recent tree that i planted was to put this tree in a raised bed but bury the tree as deep as i could in the raised bed in fact even go below grade and this tree probably has about six to eight inches of its root ball above grade. And that six to eight inches is now being covered 
by this raised bed and insulated by this raised bed. Now, that's the question, right? Because if the, fr if the ground freezes, here's another one. This is about four to six inches above grade. Another one there, Ron de Bordeaux, four to six inches. So if the ground freezes at 32 degrees Fahrenheit, right, and it will freeze, it can freeze pretty deep, right? And the deeper you go, it's probably going to be warmer because the earth is warmer. So if I can kind of stop the ground from freezing by insulating it with something like mulch or rocks, help that from, stop that from freezing, but also who cares if it freezes? That's my thought process. Because if fig trees can handle 20 degrees Fahrenheit, I know this with my potted plants. My potted trees here, they can handle 20 degrees Fahrenheit on the patio, exposed to these temperatures. If it gets below 20, the root zones will take damage, okay? Now, the third experiment, and this is one that I've planted, I planted this one in the spring, and this guy is Taramo Unknown, and he, I just stuck in here, in this raised bed. Most of the root ball of this tree is completely 100% above grade. So by knowing that it's above grade, we know that anything above grade, once it's exposed to 20 degrees Fahrenheit, like my containers, it should die, right? It should take damage and it should die. So we have one extreme here in the raised bed. We have the next step down, which is six to eight inches above grade. And then we have, you know, the other ones here that I, I showed you guys, which is about four to six inches above grade. And that seems to be a nice level to put them at. So if I can get away with another two inches or so, or another four inches, that's a pretty huge difference in the amount of heat the plant is gonna get and how well it's going to perform. So that's my experiment. Hopefully that makes a whole lot of sense. And you can understand now where I'm coming from and, and why I'm doing this. I feel like I've talked about this topic before and it just didn't make a whole lot of sense. <laughs> but yeah, this is what I'm doing. So if you want to join me in on this um, experiment, you guys have a tree that you don't mind losing. I have many trees I don't mind losing. <laughs> I know you guys think I'm crazy for that, but this is one tree here I'm worth losing. Same thing with the Taramo Unknown. So if they die, they die, and I've learned something, right? Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this one. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed a lot of my fig videos. We're going to come out with another one talking about exactly how to grow fig trees in the ground at some point here. But I think I need to wait until I have more data, more evidence from how my trees are going to perform this winter. Anyway, guys, it's a learning process. I hope everyone enjoyed this again, and I'll, I'll talk to you all soon. Take care.